Hey everyone, it's Nolan with RN Customs, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I wire in to my EcoFlow Delta II with four 100 watt panels. The first thing you need to do is look at this right here. That's your input XT60 connector, and we can go up to 60 volts. Keep in mind, if you live in a colder climate, the voltage on your panel will rise. Um, there's an EcoFlow calculator I found online. I will try to remember to put that in the description for you guys. And we'll keep moving. So, for putting these panels in the configuration I do, if you're following me, I do two series, two parallel. So I will series these panels together. I will series these two panels together, and then I will parallel them together. First, you're going to need to go to Amazon, eBay, wherever you buy your guys' parts. And you will need to get two of these little one to two um, parallel connectors. Okay, so I've got my positive from the first panel. And usually they'll have a little sticker or something on them to identify your positive and your negative. So I'm going to leave my positive here. I'm going to take my negative. I'm going to come up here. I'm having to do this one hand because I don't got anyone here with me. I'll take a video when I'm done here. So we're only focusing on these two panels. I've got my positive. My negative comes off this panel and I connect it directly into the positive of the next. And that's where the negative. So you're tethering these together. So you have one positive and you have one negative out of these two panels left since those two bridge. And now with our two negatives, we bring them together into one connection. So now we have paralleled half of the set and we just got to use this one now on here. Now you can see we have the two parallel connectors there. And then there's our bridge between these two panels and the bridge between these two panels. Now all those connections are done. We're down to two again. And that's when I will bring in my extension cable because I usually have to keep my panels a little bit far away. So I'll get these connected. And here's the other end of that extension cable I put in. And then you have your positive and negative MC4 to XT60 connection. So I'll just go ahead, plug that into the back, and I would be charging if I had any sun left, which I don't. So won't be showing any actual charge, but that is how I wire my 400 watt little array into a Delta II. Hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit, um, kind of to go over some of the math. So these panels are approximately 24 and a half volts or VOC per panel. And in case you guys are unfamiliar, when you series panels together, it adds the voltage. When you parallel the two strings together, you add your amperage. So 24.5 plus 24.5 gives you 49. You divide that by 60, and it gives you approximately 81.6, I believe. So you have about 18% overhead before you hit that 60-volt limit. Because EcoFlows, the way they're designed, they can handle over amperage. They're, they're good at, like, blocking any amps that it doesn't, you know, it can't go over 15. But the over voltage, in theory, I believe it has over voltage protection, but I have never chanced it. I don't, I haven't heard great things about over voltage on these. So when in doubt, especially in cold climates, keep your voltage low. Where I live, 18, 18 uh, percent or, you know, that 11 or 11 volts that I can rise in the cold, I should be fine with, with the calculators I've looked at online. So. Hopefully this has helped you guys out. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you want to see anything else or if you guys need me to go over anything else. Uh, this was a user request, so do not hesitate to ask. And if I don't know it, I'll try to figure it out at least and get you guys a comment back. So thanks again.